Hi, welcome back. We're going to do an example. Um, it's an application of solutions to systems of linear equations. So this is called polynomial curve fitting, and this is in section 1.3 of our textbook. So in this example, we're going to find a polynomial function whose graph contains these four, the four given points, negative 1, comma 3, 0, 0, 1, 1, and 4, comma 58. So uh, we have four points, and we can come up with a third degree polynomial that uh, contains all four points. If we had five points, we could come up with a fourth degree polynomial. So given n points, you can come up with an n minus 1 degree polynomial that will contain all n points. Ours is going to be third degree, so let's write down sort of a generic third degree polynomial, p of x. It's going to be equal to a sub 0 plus a sub 1 times x plus a sub 2 times x squared plus a sub 3 times x to the third. So all we need to do is find the four numbers, a sub 0, a sub 1, a sub 2, and a sub 3. Those are our four unknowns. So we're going to come up with four equations in four unknowns and try to solve that. So where do we get the four equations? Well, the four points that we were given will give us the four equations. So the first point, negative 1, comma, 3, um, we're going to plug in x equals negative 1 into p of x and set it equal to 3, the y-coordinate that goes with um, x equals negative 1. The y-coordinate that goes with it is 3. So let's plug in negative 1. We get a sub 0 plus a sub 1 times negative 1 plus a sub 2 times negative 1 squared, plus a sub 3 times negative 1 to the third. All of that has to be equal to the y-coordinate 3. Let's do the th same thing with 0, 0. So we get this equation. All of that has to be equal to the y-coordinate 0. Let's do, get, do it again with the third point, 1, 1. Plugging in x equals 1. Okay. And setting it equal to y equals 1. And now the fourth point, plugging in x equals 4 and setting it equal to 58, we get this equation. Okay, so now we've got four equations and four unknowns. So let's set up an augmented matrix that goes with this system. So I'm going to write down just the coefficients um, and the coefficient of, in the first equation, the coefficient of a0 is 1, the coefficient of a1 is negative 1, the coefficient of a2 is negative 1 squared, which is positive 1, and the coefficient of a3 is negative 1 to the third, which is negative 1. So the first row looks like this. And it's an augmented matrix, so we're including the constant term on the right. 1, negative 1, 1, negative 1, 3. That's the first row. The second row looks like this. The third row like that. And the last row, 4 squared is 16, 4 to the third is 64, and then the last entry is 58. So this is our um, augmented matrix for the system of four equations in four unknowns. So now um, we can do Gauss-Jordan elimination on this or um, we can use our trusty tool, Wolfram Alpha, which I'm going to illustrate. Uh, WolframAlpha.com is a handy website.
Okay, so here I've navigated over to wolframalpha.com. This is one of my favorite sites. And um, you can get a, you can sign up for a free account. Um, you can get a paid student account. I don't remember how much that is. Um, I have a pro account for educators. It wasn't that much. Um, I believe with the student account, um, you can not only get the answers, but you can see all the steps. It'll show you the steps uh, to the answers. So you can um, find examples, how to type things in. It's pretty intuitive. So what I want to do is I want to type in a four by five matrix, right? Four rows, five columns. And I want it to um, do gauss jordan elimination and get it into reduced row echelon form. So I'm going to type in RREF into this um, box where we put in what we want to know. And to put in a matrix, we've got to use curly brackets. So I'm going to put a left bracket and a right bracket, meaning what I'm going to put inside is a matrix. And now I have to type in each row separately, and each row has curly brackets, a left bracket, a right bracket, and then the five entries just separated by commas. So the first row, um, I'm going to so left bracket, and then one comma, negative one comma, one comma, negative one comma, three, right bracket. That was the first row. And then the second row, I'm going to put a comma first, and then left bracket, and then one comma, zero, comma, zero, comma, zero, comma, zero, right bracket, comma, third row, left bracket, one comma, one comma, one comma, one comma, one, right bracket, comma, and then my last row, one comma, four comma, 16 comma, 64 comma, 58, right bracket. So I've typed in the whole matrix, and now I'm going to hit the equal sign. And then just to be sure, oh, I made a mistake. Yeah, I've got too many minus signs in front of the one. I'm going to fix that. I'm going to try again. So it'll, it'll give me what it thinks I typed in, just to make sure. So here's the matrix that it thinks I typed in. And I'm going to double check to make sure I typed in everything. It looks like the matrix that I typed in. And then below it is the result, and this is in reduced row echelon form. And that is the matrix that we're going to use. All right, so I just copied down the matrix that wolframalpha.com gave me in reduced row echelon form. So you can do it by hand, um, but when you're doing your homework, uh, after you've done it a couple of times, I think you've got it down. Um, at least check your answer using a calculator or a computer. Um, use wolframalpha.com or something that you feel comfortable with, just at least to check your answer. So we've got the reduced row echelon form, and now each of the rows is an equation, and we can just write down what those equations say. So the first row says A0 is equal to 0. The second row says that A1 is equal to negative 3 halves. The third row says A2 is 2. And the last row says A3 is 1 half. And so now we can write down the polynomial we were looking for. P of x is equal to, remember it's A0 plus A1 times x plus A2 times x squared plus A3 times x to the third. Uh, A0 is 0, so there's no constant term. So the first term will be negative 3 halves times x. And then we've got 2 times x squared plus 1 half 
times x to the third. And that's the third degree polynomial that fits those four points. All right, and there'll be another video with another application of systems of linear equations. So I'll see you in that video.